First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Connor McBride here for First Capital RA3D, and the CAD is done. Well, at least as done as that we're gonna get it for our robot in three days design, and here we have it in SolidWorks 2018. Uh, the CAD was actually done in three different versions of uh, CAD. We have uh, SolidWorks 2018, 2020, and Inventor 2020. So what was done in other versions was our elevator and the color wheel, the um, the control panel arm with our wheel on it. Everything else was done in 2018 on my personal rig. But we're going to go over a quick, do a quick overview of the robot. So we have our drivetrain. We have eight wheel West Coast drive. We're using the Vex Pro traction wheels, six inch diameter, and the uh, and we're using six uh, Neo drive in the Vexpro ball shifters. Uh, we have our belly pan down here that stores all of our electronics and a couple on our indexer. We have our intake at the back of our robot, which is where the power cells will come in and be intake into the robot, into our indexer, bringing us up to the top of the robot to our hooded shooter and out and score into the high goal. To climb, we do have an elevator similar design taken from this past season and the previous season, Deep Space and Power Up, along with a surgical tubing activated hook that will be stored uh, horizontal on the elevator. And when the elevator is actuated up, it'll spring up and we'll be able to latch on and pull ourselves up the bar. Over here, uh, we have our color wheel arm that will be pneumatically actuated. It'll drop down so that it is parallel with the, with the control panel, and we'll be able to spin the wheel so we can spin it and get to the correct color that we want. Now, I will say we are publishing this CAD. Uh, we will have a link in our Chief Delphi thread and probably on other social media platforms as well. But I do want to make a quick note here for those who do download our CAD and take a look at it. It is not 100% accurate to what we have built on the robot. The intake is different. Uh, and some of the dimensions aren't exactly correct, but we want to be able to provide something to you guys for you to look at more of kind of like a lessons learned and you can see what kind of approaches that we have. Um, you'll, so you'll have to go back and look at some of our videos that we have already uploaded to YouTube to get a better understanding of the robot and see what's going on here. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our first capital RA3D sponsors.